remember all that. So, is it all true? What have you heard already? That illness. It thickened the bones. It accelerated the healing process and tissue regeneration. Is that all true? Every word. But if that's what it was doing, why call it an illness? The Lepidopterans made a nest out of the human body where they could eat and multiply. An illness is what it is. But then? Where do you want me to start? From the beginning. Uh, I'm old, Mr. Manny. My memory is not one of my strong points. Well, for example, why do they call you Madame Svenska? A name is just a trace. It is our business card, our identifier. It presents us to the world. But does it tell our story or really describe who we are? I swear I know three or four idiots with the same exact name. <laughs> well, yes. But we are not made of that name. It is given to us. Other people choose it for us, whether it suits us or not. It doesn't tell us who we really are. That name will not give us any answers. It is only through growing old that we become the answer to the questions of our childhood. And living in Sweden the last 30 years has definitely inspired this affectionate moniker. And so, Madame Svenska, it is. And yet you come back to Italy. Why? Because I forgot. But I also forgot that I had promised to remember. Tell me. Please excuse me. Sometimes my memory needs to be jogged. There's always been a song that, as well as the name you refer to so much, has labeled my whole life, has given it a name. And it's from a name. If you can believe how bizarre and sometimes unbelievable my confused memories are to describe that all this began. So it's Sweden, huh? Somebody who likes Pikachu probably likes both of those pictures. Issue. Mm -hmm. Just a weird one. <laughs> yes, you do.
game broke. Feels like it's gonna rain again. Oh yeah. Seen it before. You're gonna see it again, okay? <laughs> Play the other one after this. Uh. This is since 1st October 14th, 1971. Last seen 4 p.m. in recreation ground in SBA DLD. Date of birth, February 8th, 1958, female, white, 13 years old, black brown hair, blue eyes. At least, mm hmm, wearing a white dress with files, white shoes, and pressed hair. Person, any information, or request for call? This is the first one in a sequel. Um, there's a sequel to this one. Bro uh, remodeled broken porcelain, I think. Something like that. What's the name of it? Are we gonna play after? I always feel anxious when looking at some icons, icons and mirrors. It's Richard Felton Associate. Who is it? Yes, hello. I'm Dr. Reed from the Santa Margarita Institute. I'm sorry, but Mr. Felton is no longer a patient. I know. This is why I'm here. Hello? Uh, anyone? Yeah, it's like seeing a uh, shepherd in Mass Effect 2. In Mass Effect games, same thing. I think I've seen it, I just can't remember what it was. This month or next month? This month was pretty decent. She is freaking out as well, just running a few steps. open are you there hello is anyone there Doc.
Like usual in horror games, never the uh, obvious door is always closed. Yeah, I have, I have sub troubles on. The huffing and puffing is in subtitle. I can't do it now. What space for that actually does, but you can't do it right now at least. Definitely anguishing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how well the subtitling on is, we will see. It turns into a cutscene and not a actual game engine. Good evening, Miss I am Reed. You already told me at the intercom, and as I already told you, Mr. Felton is no longer a patient at the institute. I came here voluntarily, outside the Institute. So what do you want? I am personally re-examining your case. Causes, reagents... I strongly believe there are alternative ways and probably other experiments that are worth a try. I am fighting with the Institute to recognize there are other adequate remedies for your husband's oh, pathology. No, please. I I'm just assisting him. I'm his nurse. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, it's okay. I suppose you want to talk to him. Thank you. I apologize for the darkness, but Mr. Felton's sight has been damaged and immensely compromised because of the disease. Anyway, I am Gloria. Oh, and please, refrain from smoking inside. Mr. Felton hates the smell of smoke. Sorry. Yeah. Arrival. RP walking time. Please, this way. Bad habit. Smoking? Yes, such a shame. You should quit. You have no idea how bad this is for you. Not only for your health, but it's also very expensive. Money and time wasted. <sighs> yeah, so I know, much to do every day. I couldn't yeah, waste time silly. with such a bad habit. Do you assist Mr. Felton all day? Oh no, from midday to 8 p.m. Then I go back home. I live near here. If needed, he can contact me with a pager, but that's not often. His wife takes care of him when I'm off. What can you tell me about her? I met her just a couple of times. She's usually out or locked in her bedroom when I'm here. Let's say they don't seem to get along. I didn't know. But, you know, when she's home, she listens to the same music, the same song, over and over. This way, please. Mr. Felton will be here in a few minutes. Okay.
Snoop. And that was a small text. Missing Mrs. Elton's farm. Rosso Gallo closes danger of contamination. Why men in the Feltons are indicted for alleged criminal activity against consumers and production employees. October 2nd, 1971. The Rosso Gallo farm, Pride of the Gallows, closed due to suspected contamination. It has been reported that many products have been infected by toxic pollen that could be caused of severe uh, paras parasitosis. Parasitosis? Probably more correct. The, uh, uh, the owner, Ariana Gallo, top right, her husband, the notary Richard Felton, bottom right, professor and company's partner, Albert Elias Wyman, large picture, are under investigation. The latter has been allegedly accused by Felton himself of having used the company to carry out the pharmaceutical experiments, taking advantage of corporate funds at his will. Indeed, a warning came from the residents of the company's headquarters, Ashmans, who Ash, Ash, Ma, no, Ashmans, no, Ashmans, uh, who managed the building and supervised the harvester, the sisters of the adjoining convent. Hold on. Okay. Among the reported symptoms, painful ulcers, vomiting, proliferation of parasites, and in some cases, cirrhosis, uh, photosensitivity. Following the heavily allegations, both the Feltons and Ashmans received numerous threats from Wyman himself, who has been removed from the order of physicians today. Wyman stated he was shocked by the charges and put his finger to his former business partner, Richard Felton. He personally funded me. It is worth noting saying that Felton himself, like his father, promoted and funded the Phenoxyl Project, a drug for which Wyman himself was nominated for the prestigious medicine award in 1957, but that was retired from the market views later due to disastrous side effects. Meanwhile, even at uh, Felton's house, which was used as location for product distribution, the activity ceases. As a result of the scandal, the Ashmans and Feltons also broke off any kind of relationship. As a matter of fact, the Ashmans claim a substantial refund for the damage it suffered because even their children had been infected and, as a consequence, used as unaware test subjects. Uh, the authorities assume that the combination, uh, contamination has developed from the groundwater, not only used for the irrigation of the nearby plantation, but also as a common source for Ashmans and the Twelve Sisters of the nearby monastery. Hello Murphys, how are you doing? On the other side of it, it says, You damn son of a bitch! See what they write about me on the news? You wanted to tarnish me? Well, I'll get back at you. Oh, surely I will. Starting with your daughter? Do you believe she doesn't know who her father is? I'm sure he will be glad to know she is his daughter. So you got balls. Take your responsibilities. What am I saying? Balls? You never got balls. Hmm. Yeah, not surprising that you woke up from a nap now. Well, it would be too easy, wouldn't it? I believe in people's willpower. Everything else is not God, but an aptitude or mankind's cruelty. This is the kind of fairy tale I prefer at my age. When you're worn out from an incurable disease, you start having some doubts. Why is there so much life in such small but lethal creatures? Murphys. An yes, you That's do. All we need. For what? It's wrong and crazy. It's human nature. That same nature in which we are equals to those ants eating each other. But pardon me, I forgot my manners. Please sit down. 
Dr. Reed, I suppose. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Oh, Felton. Okay. When Please you don't nap, you actually so sleep. So you already okay. met Gloria. Yes, she let me in. She's a great reference, extremely hardworking, but back to us. I don't recall seeing beautiful doctors like you at the Institute, Dr. Reed. <laughs> I am flattered, Mr. Felton. I arrived at the Institute just a few months after you left. And you left because? Inadequacy of the sanitary treatments within the structure. That's right. And in a few words? In a few words. They didn't know how to treat my case, and they left me there to die. But it seems that other issues took over. I once or twice refused to go through exams. Mr. Felton, is there anything I can do for you? Oh, Gloria, yes. See if Dr. Reed needs anything. Oh, no. May I offer you a cup of tea or coffee? Espresso? No. Thank you. As you wish. How about you, Mr. Felton? No, thank you. I'll keep entertaining our guest. You can go now. You're diagnosed? 1958? Yes. Indicatively, some friends and I contracted the disease while traveling to Egypt, and it got worse. In addition to the disease, the first exam showed some inconsistency. <laughs> some hormonal deficiency? Overdose of non-prescribed drugs, opiates, anoxal? Wasn't it recalled in the mid-60s? Doctor, don't you think that nowadays there are ways to obtain drugs without any prescription? Uh, I believe so. According to your file, you still receive your disability pension. Even better, it seems that the beneficiary is your wife, Ariana Gallo. Exactly. She's the one who takes care of me when Gloria is off. How about your daughter? My daughter? Celeste has never come back home. Disappeared. She was adopted, am I right? Hmm. The investigators confirmed that she intentionally left. They never suspected a kidnapping since there was no ransom request. How about Weeman? Wasn't he a suspect? <sighs> a flash in the pan, an idiot who brought confusion by sending warnings and threats. And her birth parents? Dr. Reed, young girls often decide to just go. And this is what my daughter decided to do with- Jennifer. What did you say? At times, you'd call her Jennifer. No. <sighs> My Mr. Daughter. Felton, what has really happened to your daughter? I just told you! How about the off-the-record version? I am not sure where you're trying to go with this, but I won't tolerate- I don't have the strength for this now! I know you've been trying to forget her, but this picture might help you to. What is this? Where did you get this picture? Isn't she your daughter? Celeste, or has you called her? Jennifer? I asked you a question! The back of the picture says Jennifer. There is no Jennifer! You thought I was stupid, didn't you, Mr. Felton? Do you... do you really think I'd come here without knowing what I'm Who talking about? Who are you, and why did you come here? Did you come to my home to threaten me with your condescending Threatening tone? you? So maybe I should ask your wife, then. She's not home. Seems like she is. Mr. Felton, I just talked to the director of the Institute on the phone. They have never heard of Dr. Reed. She is not what she claims to be. Well, Miss Reed, if that is your real name, your time here has ended. Please, leave my property. Miss Gloria will escort you out. Please follow me. Mr. Felton, please, tell me what you did to your daughter. Good evening. Follow me. Follow me. Mr. Felton. You know the way. How do you even... How do I do what? How do you even sleep at night? You use people's lives regardless of the pain you cause. The Feltons have been through a lot. And they are good people. Gloria, a young girl disappeared. We all know the story, unfortunately. A burden that the Feltons will have to carry for the rest of their lives. Celeste just left them. If that was the case, there was a motivation behind it. And it threatened her life. Okay, so that was the first game. No, yes.
este. Breaking and entering, huh? Door. <laughs> Safety game. Look for the mirrors with the metronome. From now on, you can save a game only by using those. Flashlight. You can disable tutorials from the settings when the flashlight switch. Some years of felt the mansion are really dark. It may be difficult to find your bearings. Press the flashlight switch to light up your way. But remember to turn it off. You do not want to stick out. Diversions, you can just uh, okay. open inventory. Diversions from quick uh, select. Diversion items are used to slow down or distract an enemy. You can take up to a maximum of three. Once you have picked up a diversion item, you can equip it from the inventory or via quick selection. There are different types of diversion throwables. Aim and throw diversion item. All aim button down to point uh, your opponent. Use the throw diversion item button to throw the object. You can use these objects to hit the enemy, stun him for a short period of time, or to attract him in a certain direction and clear your way. Place balls. Place diversion item. Place ball on the ground. Hold a place diversion item button to equip the item and lure the enemy to that area. Place ball on doors. December 68, happily together. Let's see how does the menu look like then. Around. 
defense up, you can hit your enemy if he has reason to stop you. When your opponent is about to kill you, you can use a defense item by following instruction on the screen. The defense item can be used just once, so you can only bring one at a time. If you don't have any defense items with you, you won't be able to escape from your enemy's deadly grip. something of This is a uh, power unit, but let me turn off. Okay, crouch, open door. Someone might be lurking behind the door. Before you go, you can peek to see if, it is, if there's an enemy on the other side. Crouch is silently with the crouch button and press open door. Hold door. Instead, if you're chased, press the hold door button when you're in front of a closed door. And this way, you can stop the enemy coming in. One, you can only hold the door for a short period of time. Snooping around. No problem plus difficult.
unbreakable things and uh, self-defense. Maybe some Dr. Feltner's distant relatives. <laughs> Missing something, I guess. I could see that he was tied with a rope. There's no rope on the outside. Lift the communicators upstairs, but the control panel doesn't seem to work here. Yeah. Best to upgrade your defense item. An upgrade allows you to improve a feature of the currently equipped defensive object. You can only have one upgrade at a time. There are two types of upgrade. Damage, and the enemy for more time, and applicable with acid barrels. Durability, defense items can be used twice, applicable with a wire spell. Basement right now. I don't 
think I'm gonna open that one since it's tied with a rope. broken this is to hide right Breakable things, distraction things.
Let's see, maybe I'm turning on the projective phone to find a better in a film. Let's see, Dr. Felton. I do not think I have the strength or the courage to keep up with this story. Therapy is not bringing you anywhere, and what has happened today is something very serious. I got rid of the film. Reviewing your sessions of uh, mesmerization. Mesmerization can only hurt your mental health, and I wish it would never end up in the wrong hands. Don't try to take it back. I have thrown it in, it in the oven. I have also replaced the battery of the pendulum clock. You don't need a projector anymore. Take care of yourself, Gloria. Okay, so we need an oven, and we need a pendulum clock, huh? projector notary patron entrepreneur and even in entomologist entomologist coronation of a virgin a young girl gazes into the sky above with stunned eyes and a light hits her. Something is out of place. From the dark sky, the threatened storm are descending the hideous hands of stranger creature. This picture makes me feel uncomfortable. That's the one that we read already. Please, Mrs. Felton. 
Oh my god. Hello, pretty. My dear, the record player got jammed again, right? Yes, I know. You, you keep on telling me we need to buy the new gadgets on the market. Promise, promise, I'll put promise. on some clothes, dude. How can I say no to you? Now get some rest, love. My little Jennifer. Jennifer? Stalkers, you can just, uh, there's a stalker in this area. You can decide if you want to bypass him, distract him, or face him. Crowd. Remember to not make any noise, otherwise he will put on your tracks. Uh, avoid running or use a crouch button to move silently. F for dodge. In case the stalker gets too close to you, press the dodge button to avoid his attack if you still have enough breath. Mr. and Mrs. Felton in their happiest day of their life. Both smile, they look happy. But with just pale eyes are making me feel uneasy. Hey Jennifer. Mrs. Felton. Something shiny stuck in a tank drain, clogging it. Looks like a clock key or something. Need to find something to unclog the drain. I'd like that she stands up every time you. Elton's gone? Okay. Key arrangements. You can just. Uh, key arrangements are fundamental to progress in the story. Missing object icon, open inventory. Use key, key item. Get in front of an element with the icon missing key item, use the button to open inventory. Select the key item you want to use and press the use button. What did we get? Ground floor corridor key.
a small good safe to communicate with downstairs. save one did save right no, it's okay. but it was gonna come up with I guess it uses just one file. Doing this with those heels can't be comfortable. Actually, I'll check something else first. Not. Yes, we came right back then.
Butterflies, moths, and other flying creatures. There's nothing over here. Probably it walks back and forth over here. need to get downstairs. Thing is he goes up and down. Oh when we were over there he was staying downstairs so I don't know how we're gonna do this. Uh, one thing we'll maybe start that alarm but since yesterday. Where did that one didn't go off though? Yeah, the coast even shouldn't be there. Oh, it was from yesterday's summer game fest. Chance to reach my land for 
for me and then a whole new world is called. I knew it! I want to see if I could stay there and hide, but... What the... PTOs went right up. Why can't I? Yeah, exactly. That staying calm thing though, that was really odd one because I moved a little bit to the right and all of a sudden it just skyrocketed up to the way up and I couldn't get it down at all. Oh, you can only use it a uh, certain amount of time for life, huh? Okay. Yeah, it would probably have been worth if he hasn't died there. Or I should have used... Uh, Fancy item. Oh, he's just dumb. Dr. 
free. Do you really think you'll get away with this? <laughs> no point trying. Couldn't hear him coming. I was walking downstairs, but I didn't uh, hear him coming up the or down uh, at the bottom floor, but I didn't hear him coming up. I was hoping to get to and hide there in the stairs, but... You'd think running on a carpet would be just fine, though. Nope. Heard that. Up there, don't think the key is for this one. I will be the first to reach my land for me, and then a whole new world calling us. <laughs> Let's try. Patrols right now. Where did I put the damn pill? Nothing left. 
Mm, from the other side, right? Yeah. are kind of pointless and almost to touch these like never never a key item you know Movie should be here, right? Of course, you need something to use the. A messy kitchen, huh? I...
Why didn't that work? Sometimes I get this prompt up, it's so annoying. I get it in such an angle many times. Oh, nice CJ. Now it's just the motherboard and memory left then. that works with The entire Felton family is portrayed in a cheerful atmosphere those days soon gone. The lesser's face is unrecognizable. It looks like the canvas has been ruined on purpose by scratching too much. But why? Well, I don't have to close them. I mean, I can keep them open. I just don't know if he reacts on things being open or not. I mean, if it's a good game, he does. Suspect of kidnapping an arson, renowned professor commits suicide. Unable to withstand the charges, El Albert Elias Wyman hangs himself. Acquitted for lack of evidence, the community fulminated against him. The reasons were more than sufficient. However, cover up, revenge. November 14, 1971, one, one month after the disappearance of the 13 year old Celeste picture on the right, adopted uh, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Fault Felton. The dead body of Professor Wyman, pictured above, has been found today in his house. Wyman allegedly hanged himself. He was suspected in the disappearance of the young Celeste, even though there are no real proofs that he uh, that should indicate that he is that the disappearance was in fact a kidnapping. He was also accused of the arson at the cloister Cristo Morente it happened 60 days ago, in which all 12 nuns living there, pictured above, lost their lives, Ashman's daughter included. One man intimidated several times his former business partners, the Feltons and, and, and ex employees at the headquarters, the Ashmans, who have accused him of using the company in spreading a dangerous uh, parasitosis in order to experiment on approved medicines. Alfredo Weiman, for his death, pleaded not guilty for the other charges. He never declared himself uninvolved in the contamination of uh, Rosso Gallo. As a matter of fact, Weiman stated, the proliferation of these mouths in the living system may be, may be the missing piece in modern medicine. Legislatively, Wyman also said to act on behalf of Richard Felton, who had been assuming the prototype number one of Phenoxyl uh, for years before it's banned to cure the disease, as he benefited from it during mesmerization session. Even though Felton contracted the disease in a whole different context, nuns who underwent tests before the fire reported similar symptoms in addition to the severe rise of insulin levels. Allergy to cortison that could lead to sudden elementary keratitis, keratitis, photosensitivity, and then neuroleptic damage, possibly caused by abuse of prototype number two of uh, phenoxyl. 
By the side effect, there would be joined the already abundant list of contradictions of protein number one. Cerebral cortex damages, hallucinations, amnesia, and memory alteration. Meanwhile, the first investigations confirmed the malicious nature of the fire, ignited by pouring inflammable liquid in the water pipes, the same used to infect Rosagallo's fields. As well as the cloister, the plantations and the whole wing of the Ashman's palace has been reported to be destroyed by the flames. <laughs> yeah, it can happen sometimes in mines, even if it's a good quality one. You never know. We got something pre style wigs, your coffee for just thirty nine ninety nine. Come on. I suspected he would have come in there though, when I had that crash of the glass. Oh, he has to open up the mouse and clean it a little bit. Sometimes he can be some stupid dirt in there. Yeah. 
somewhere. No! But it was. This goodbye will be the chance to reach my land for me and then a whole new world. What the heck, man? Can you decide where you're going? Okay, I'm missing an item somewhere in this floor. Another freaking key. to go. The bathtub. Um, I need to use your plunger. There's nothing left to, to eat. I, it's all mold. She has laid them all open. Okay, we need to get to the bathtub. I just want to sleep. 
him he man tapping from bottom. Not not the actual mouse button. Usually the best is just to check and see if you can solve it. If you can't, then it's just a good new one. Just and just. I usually just open them and see if there's something I can see. Clean it out. If that doesn't fix it, then I just get a new one. Not fine. Doctor Reed, are you doing some overtime? What are you doing here? Do you really? I thought he was downstairs. Keeping that thing inside there, it's a pain in the butt, man. Hammer is not enough here, you should use a sledgehammer, you know. Get like really good tapping. Bye. I walk by down there to the left, but I don't think I can go down yet. For some it's horror. I'm not the one who gets really scared by horror games, so I do enjoy them though. This is mostly a more just avoid being caught. 
kind of like res bit like Resident Evil. You gonna walk by or? Sure, Murphys. Outlast. Outlast is not scary. I remember playing Dead Space 1 the first time. It was a bit of a journey. Also because he has a plenty of uh, jump scares in it. Um. It's one nasty toilet, man. You know, we had to find a drain pipe. can be at them. Bottom floor. And she goes, yes, it's quick walking as she goes uh, crouching. right now like no sound whatsoever
I put the damn pill. You really have to move the mouse when it starts moving. It's a hard part to walk past. the drain is gonna be at I assume it will be down here Put your back into it. We need something to get some Doesn't look like there's anything here we can use them. So, you know, that would look to have been something, but for some reason we can't use it. I haven't seen anything to 
picked up that one. Wonder where that could be then. Uh, can there be something in the kitchen, maybe? Shovel might be a good thing. Probably the other one I've walked to even over there. Any other thing in here? I want to target the damn. Vacation in Rome, summer 1964.
do? I'm just wondering uh, what I'm missing to open up that one though. Must be somewhere I didn't look. Oops. I can't take any more. Easy to miss that little uh, white blip. If you already looked at, you can you borrow your hand or something? I can crawl into that one. Hide. Distraction. Mm, doo 
do 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 up anywhere. We looked all the way in the basement and so I didn't see anything there. I think I would have seen it when we got in though. Or if it's something that gets triggered after you get a certain part. Things you get creeped out uh, from. Fuck. I need to take my pill. And how did I go, Gloria? And stuff, huh? Probably clean my computer actually. Think about it. Take this little floor. I 
wonder what the heck I'm missing. Where I'm missing this item. Sounds like he's either beside or below me. Check up here. Uh, I usually clean my computers like once a year. Clean inside. Get all the dust out, clean the fans and stuff. How do you sometimes tell with the audio where he actually is? Funny to be there. Um... I assume he is on this floor right now. This one. in that direction. Thank <laughs> you. 
Cab. missing this item man not on this floor and it's not on the floor below this hey put on some clothes I wanna see your naked butt One gamble, huh? Yeah, that few points is just to go all in, Gloria. something here Yeah, you said something about it. He was showing you ads right in the middle of the summer game fest, right? Do you watch it on the t computer or the? I just want to sleep. The 
we're mobile, Gloria. when you watch Twitch. On the PC, okay. Something in here either. That's the right way to do it. There's nothing left to eat. It's all molded. I use an um uh, an add-on called uh, TTT. No, it doesn't seem like it. So that's why I'm uh, just keeping them open now. That's just that he scratched it out. Yeah. Oh, there is something. Metal cable. Easy to miss things. No, but it's called T uh, TTV. Uh, let me see. Okay. Video app block for Twitch. Works perfectly. Locks them all. And one of very few that actually works. I just want to sleep. Yeah. 
it used to work, uh, you block origin, but but then advertisement comes depending on what country you're into, so. Yeah, I have uh, a new block already in two, but it's so hmm, the metal cable. Oh, it's just certain channels that gets a lot of ads. And then it depends if there's some certain events Twitch is running. the metal cable is gonna work or not let's see if it will I don't have that many other things I can try this on really I think. And is it going to the kitchen or not? The nurse says this guy doesn't see very well, but to me, he seems to be able to see things very well. I just wonder if I have to go to the kitchen or some other floor. Or if it was in here. He left. Hello, Ali. How you doing? And yes, I asked you. Uh, what's 
there in there's none up here was there was just in a big um There was one up here. Cut off her coat. I can't take any more. I just want to sleep. Remember, hmm. Yes, have to go to the kitchen or not. I think it is, but I can't remember if he had one in here. It should be the kitchen. But one thing I would do if I was here, I would like blow the candles, you know, turning off lights everywhere. Yeah, we just let the candles be and This is always a risky part.
the heck was it I saw this other part of it? Go in there. Goodbye will be the chat. My land for me and them. Oh, it is calling us. <laughs> Long in that part. Huh? Oh, so which room is that damn thing going then? Yeah. Running his legs looking there. Seeing your naked butt all over the place. Yeah, exactly. Heck, am I missing this out? Yeah, exactly. That's a true horror part in this game. Nothing over here. I 
What the heck am I missing this at? You think it would be by one of these back walls since it should go up in the same... Uh, Hello, hello, let me save. Okay, it's gonna be a bit of a... can he see in the dark? Hello, game? So he can see perfectly in the dark. It's like, what? <laughs> I can't take any more. Like I was, so the candles seem to have gone out. Kiss your own saggy butt. How about that? What are you doing here? 
anymore. <laughs> Just want to sleep. I can put you to sleep for free. I wanted to run around and then hide under here, but I didn't think he was gonna come around that quick in there. Unfortunately, she doesn't slam the door behind, shut behind her. Okay, now we need to go up. the scariest part is going in the stairs because you have no idea where he is sometimes. floor oh, why did I have oh. gone up I was thinking about that I had to go up this floor see us up the basement. That one is closed for some reason. I think he's over here now though.
did I put the damn pills? Hope it doesn't go out this door here now. Can I? So. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on his farm he had a sickle. I just want to sleep. Noisy little. in other people's things. Oh, cover yourself up, man. There's nothing left to, to eat. I, it's all molded. What we should do now is go. We had a projector to use, but we also have the ladder downstairs to use.
Whoop. I guess we go and check the film first. I just want to sleep. But that um, ladder down there also needed batteries, so. Basement. Hey, these have been uh, have been closed. And it's opened before. Funny if it uh, happened when uh, the lights went out. The way that the candles also went out in that. Let me put on some uh, tea water, be right back. This is mesmerism session with drug injection. Patient is Richard Felton. Mr. Felton, I remind you that you were sedated with a dose of phenoxyl and submitted to the constant swing of the metronome. Can you hear me? Yes. Breathe deeply. Keep your eyes on the metronome. I... I can't... Stay follow. calm. Keep control of yourself. We are here for you, Mr. Felton. What day were you born? February 16th. Can you tell me which day today is, or your wife's name? Uh, Ariana. We're in March, I think. I don't remember. I can't remember. That's normal. It's part of the mesmerism process. Stay focused. Keep your eyes on the metronome. You are now in oblivion. What is the first thought that comes to you? Celeste. On the swing. Happy. Celeste. Can you see her? Keep visual contact. I see her back. She, she still screams. She can't hear me. Why doesn't she hear Mr. me? Mr. Felton, keep calm. What you see is not material. It's a reflection of your subconscious. My fault. I knew this would happen. That she would escape. We were supposed to protect her so that they wouldn't find her. Who are they? But I never thought she'd come back. I thought her. Do you mean Celeste came back after she disappeared? She wasn't my little girl. No, she wasn't Celeste. She was Jennifer. Mr. Felton, who are you talking about? Who's Jennifer? When my father came back and 
1930. It was like he was dead. No physical wounds, just broken inside. He changed. I had never liked or loved him very much, but the man that came back from Ethiopia was far from being the man that once left us. He came back to himself pretty quickly, but not how I wanted. Mr. Felton, were you abused by your father? Oh, no, never. He was a good man. Very strict, yes. A monster, but, but not that kind of monster. He never touched me. I, I was a disappointment to him. A wimp. Lucky flower. Do you think your daughter's disappearance is related to your relationship with your father? She should have never been born. My father, he, he helped me to prevent me from her. Is this why you came here, Doctor? I hope you found what you were looking for. I tried to warn you. You should have listened. Is it really worth it to put yourself into this story? Stop, you bitch! <laughs> Some things die and stay dead forever! Other things die and just linger in time. Uh, sir, sooner or later, everyone will find out the truth. I already told you the truth. My daughter left us just one afternoon. We never saw her again. Fucking liar. You said that she came back, didn't you? Oh! <laughs> You don't understand. You, you have no idea of what I've been through. The pain. And didn't you think of the pain your daughter's been through? Oh, no. Celeste was the only bond between my wife and I. Our marriage was more of a business deal than love. It was one of those arranged marriages where... Only the parents-in-law love each other. This has nothing to do with her daughter. On the contrary, it has everything to do with her. After she disappeared, Ariana and I were divided. But you said you were protecting Celeste. From who? It's more than you can handle, miss, and you would not understand. It's true. I might not be able to understand. But right now, I believe Celeste decided to leave be because she was terrorized by your morbid intentions. No, it's not true. And yet, sometime later, she comes back home to the lion's it's den. It's not true. One afternoon, she knocked on the door. I, I couldn't believe it. She was there. But it wasn't Celeste. It, it was Jennifer. Jennifer. Then you came in. God bless you. And thanks to you, I... I finally realized that Jennifer was to blame for my pain, my disease. I could not let her go away again. So one night I slipped into her bedroom, and there she was, tempting me. I could not let her hurt us again. No, can't be. And yet, you saw her body. I, I had to. I... I didn't have any other choice. You're disgusting murderer. You're a murderer. Oh God, forgive me. Forgive me. I was just following her orders. You, you came to us to, to free us from evil. Oh, God. Okay.
The heck was the point of me clicking that? Is this one now then? <laughs> so, what the heck? 